Hey yo guys, Shepard Speed back with another video. So today we're gonna go ahead and go into some ranked. Um, but first, I just want to show you guys my deck. Um, simply because I did make a change, I did take out one of my beloved Zap, my beloved Zapdos, the two doubles. I took one out for a Rayquaza because with the new update, he has a new um, ability that Primal Rage. They changed it so that if he has Groudon, Kyogre, or a different Rayquaza on the field. This Pokemon gets plus 1 MP and plus 20 damage. So, that all depends on if my opponent has them. So, I need one of my opponents to have a Groudon, Kyogre, or a Rayquaza. And he's going to be beastly. So, why don't we go ahead and also, guys, I just wanted to show you real quick. The Pokemon Duel Gods gifted me with another EX today. And that EX is indeed Trevenant. So, he looks pretty fun. If you guys have any uh, deck suggestions and you guys want me to use him, let me know. I tested him out and he did not perform for me, so he's not in the deck currently, but you know, I might change my mind. He could be good, I don't know. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go into a ranked match here and see if we can come up against somebody with Rayquaza, Groudon, or Kyogre. That's the plan here. That's the plan. So let's go ahead and go into a match. Now, I will admit that the, the dual gods, other than that Trevenant, have not been on my side today. I've been getting wrecked with RNG. If you could tell, my rating has gone down. It's just been not a good day. So I'm hoping that maybe now the tides will turn and I can come back to glory. And, man, we don't have... We do not have a Kyogre, or Quaza, or a Groudon. That is unfortunate. But, nevertheless, guys, nevertheless... We are still going to truck on and see if we can get a victory here. So, Pesos, I guess that's how you say it, Pesos. Alright, well anyway, it's our turn first. We're going to go ahead and start off with Mew. I don't see anything that can kill Mew that easily uh, off the first turn. So, yep, that seems like an okay decision. Pesos has got a Torterra, the Deoxys D, the Sceptile, Venusaur, Greninja, and a... Reshiram. So, a pretty nice squad, to be honest. I actually really like the Venusaur. That looks pretty fun. Um, but looking at his team, though, he's got 1 MP pokes all over the place. So, maybe we could uh, capitalize on that. Now, my question is, do I soar right now? Do I soar over and threaten the winds, and he's going to go on the entry point, then I block with Mew, then he comes up with Sceptile, then I put somebody on the defense. Alright, I'm doing it, guys. I weighed my options. I've decided that these are my, this is my favorite option. Not the best one. Probably not the best one, guys. It's my favorite option. So, of course, now he's going to go on this, either on this entry point or right here, and then I either will go block or just put Mew. Whoa. Whoa there. Um... Um, what? Okay, I mean... I mean, I guess. Do you not have... You have another hurdle jump. He's surely not gonna hurdle jump. I guess he has to now. That was a very interesting decision. I honestly thought he was gonna go offensive. He's gonna hurdle jump again. Um... Now that he's double, he's used both of his hurdle jumps. Let's just double chance and see if we can just get a quick victory right now. A very interesting decision, honestly. I was not expecting that, and oh my god, guys, we beat him, so did we just win? Sceptile's gonna have to knock out my Zapdos for, or I guess Reshiram, somebody's gonna have to knock out Zapdos right now, he definitely can't defend the goal, but, and the good thing is that he used both of his hurdle jumps, so even if Zapdos does fall, we're in a, a pretty good position, and he, in fact, destroyed the Reshiram, look at that, guys, oh my god, guys, is the dual gods back on my side? The dual gods are back on my side, guys. Zap on the goal. That's what I love to see, man. That's what I love to see. Look at that win. Haven't seen that. Well, haven't seen that that often today. I did see it a few times against some AIs, <laughs> um, but not that often. So that was really good. So maybe we can ride this luck. Let's go ahead and go into another match here. I still want. I still want somebody with Rayquaza, Groudon, or Kyogre. Please, dual gods, shine your light upon me. I know I'm asking too much. You guys can do it. I know you can. Set me up with somebody here. Let's see what we got here. So that was a really interesting match. I'm sure... I don't know what he was thinking. Uh, man, we don't have... We don't have the beloved Z uh, Rayquaza, Groudon, or Zap. But looking at this man's deck... He's, his name is Pally, I think. 
Pally's got a Charmeleon, Vibrava, Zapdos, Stratini, Glaceon, and a and a Reshiram. So pretty interesting squad. I'm not gonna set out Mew because that Charmeleon, that is my that is bait, my friend. He's trying to bait me. Um, double evolution. Let's see. Let's see if this Vibrava is an evolution. Yep, an evolution and an evolution. So he's got a triple evolution line there. Let's go ahead and send up Zap. I definitely need to be careful because if he gets that Flygon with like the 4 star Flyaway, Char Charizard with the 2 MPs, like this could be dangerous. Um, let's see if this Zapdos is chain leveled. It is not, so that's good. Why don't we go ahead and send Verizian up this way. And looking at this Dratini, actually I think I'm going to try and knock out this Dratini. 40, 30, 40, let's just, let's just put, let's just put Rayquaza there. He's not going no. That Glaceon's not going nowhere. Yeah, I think I actually want to switch. Okay, never mind, because he's coming at me with this Charmeleon here. I could beat him. I'm not confident right now, though. I, I admit I'm not confident. You know, sometimes, you know, you see you know, smaller evolutions, and you're like, oh, I can beat them easily. And they come, they come out of nowhere, man. They come out of nowhere. He's going to push me aside. What the heck? What the heck? I didn't know that benches them. That procs the evolution getting off a purple move? Okay, did not realize that, guys. I did not realize that. This Dragonair must die immediately. We are actually going to double chance. This might be actually really risky, but... You know, sometimes you gotta risk it for... You know, you gotta risk it sometimes, guys. So let's go ahead and attack this Dragonair. I have a really good chance. There it is. There it is. We have indeed knocked out the Dragonair with the Zapdos, with the 101 Crash. So, let's see what he does here. He could uh, pull forward with Zapdos, at which point I would just go right here with Zap and then send out Mew. He is not going to do that. He is actually just going to put Vibrava there. Now, Vibrava... Zapdos beats Vibrava a lot of the time. Um, as somebody pointed out to me, they were like, oh, why aren't you attack Vibrava? And I was like, oh, man, didn't realize that. But now I do, guys. Now I do realize it, so now we're in business. Why don't we go ahead and go right here? Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. We just got Zapdos surrounded. Tragic. Literally tragic. Let's go ahead and put Mew out. Man, what was I thinking with that? What was I thinking? Now Verizian is in a bad situation. And he can't... I could hurdle jump with Verizian. Saving him. But then wasting my hurdle jump. I think I'm gonna do it. I can't afford to lose Verizian at this point. Um, not yet, at least. He could still beat me with the Zap. Actually, he can't. Well, he. Okay, I'm, I'm lied. He could, but thankfully the Zapdos is not chain leveled, so we do have that going for us. Now, in the last episode, Fusion Flare wrecked Mew. Does Fusion Flare? Do you have to have Reshiram and Zekrom? If you have Zekrom on the field, so it's not. So he can't do that. So why don't we go ahead, go ahead and put. Verizian up against this Reshiram. I'm not really too worried about the Fusion Flare right now, because he doesn't have the Zekrom, so it's just a 70 attack. But, let's see. Why don't I put you here? He could go forward with Zapdos, but then I can surround him with Whimsicott. So I don't think he's going to do that. My defense is solid. You're going to hurdle. Who are you hurdling? Uh, okay. Uh, I'm just going to do that and threaten the game. Does he have a gold block? He doesn't have a gold block. He just has another hurdle jump. Um, okay. Do I have... I don't have a hurdle jump either. So why don't I send Verizian right up here? I can attack that Reshiram and I could win, honestly. I could win. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm surprised he didn't go... Oh, he couldn't go on the goal. He didn't have enough MP. Now he's going defensive. Look at you, man. Going defensive. Why don't I go ahead and put Verizian right here? Then I can move uh, Rayquaza up, and I'm not worried, because I can just surround the Glaceon. And then get Whimsy back on the field. Whimsy, you're going to... Oh, oh, don't attack. How, oh, he's, he's scared of Rayquaza. Rayquaza's coming in for the kill now. Quiz is going to come in for the kill, that swift kill. 
Pally. I'm not sure what his plan is here. The only the only problem is my Magikarp is in a pickle. Got the Typhoon Slash. Do I want to switch? No, I do not. I'm going to get the Surround with Rayquaza. He's going to be down a poke. And then we need to figure out what the attack plan is. I think I'm going to set Whimsicott like right around here just so I don't get anything crazy. Magikarp, obviously. No, yeah, see? He's trying to do something fishy, man. He's trying to do something fishy. Let's just put Whimsy right here. Oh, I forgot. We can't move him anywhere else because of uh, Vibrava's ability. So, he does have another... Okay, are you going to attack? He's not going to attack. So, that's interesting. Um, let's put Verizian right here. And then we're going to push forward with Rayquaza. So, I'm not too worried about my defense right now because even if... Hurdle... Who are you hurdle jumping? What are you... What's going on here, mate? Okay, things have escalated. Things have indeed escalated. He just hurdle jumped. Okay, this is not good. So, if I lose this match now, I'm going to be pretty pissed. So let's just look at this here. Didn't even think about that. Guess that was a good move. Um, I can't... I'm not going to make it back with anyone. I can't attack with Verizian. Mew could only attack Zapdos. He could get purple on gold. Magikarp is useless. Whimsicott can't knock out Vibrava. Um, if I Typhoon Slash... If I get the knockout on Reshiram, then he's going to block with Charmeleon. Then I can win with Typhoon Slash. Alright, that's what we're going to have to do, guys. So what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to knock out this Rush Ram in order to win. And, oh my god. Okay, so that's actually not terrible. Because he's going to fly around. He's going to be one to two steps away. Which means he's going to have to go here or here. He's probably going to go here. And then he's going to have to defend with... Okay, so he picked there. Oh, okay, I see. He's just going to... Alright, we're going to go for it again, guys. We have no choice. Uh, I was... Oh, okay, I got the Typhoon Slash. That's one one done. So now he's going to have to block with Charmeleon, and we're going to have to knock out this Charmeleon or get the Typhoon Slash. We have to get really lucky because we caught, caught sleeping yet again. Um, this one was actually my mistake, guys. I didn't even foresee this, but my Magikarp is in a detrimental situation here. I must save Magikarp. So he could play like Risky and attack with... Uh, Reshiram, but there's a good chance for him to lose. He's gonna do it. He's gonna attack with Reshiram. This is so risky if either of us get purple. Oh my god, the grass knot against the miss. We did it, guys. Oh, that was so scary. We did it, guys. Let's get that W. Man, that was that was so worrisome. I, I admit that I made some misplays, and I'll, I'll watch the tape back, but... I am happy that we got the victory. Maybe maybe today I was just playing trash all day. <laughs> maybe it wasn't just bad luck. Um, wow, I can't even believe that, guys. Verizian is so fun to play with. Um, but with that, actually, what am I doing? I wanted to go into daily missions. That was three wins in a row, right? There it is. I got to take this one. Let's see what we got here with this special mission. And then we're going to go ahead and end off the episode, guys. Let's see. Come on. Something amazing. Give me something good for that win. That win was so lucky, though, not gonna lie. I know it was lucky, guys. You don't gotta tell me it was lucky. I already know it was lucky. Uh, ingot 4. Okay, so that's probably the worst. That's probably the worst of the bunch, to be honest. It is the worst of the bunch. Alright, guys. Well, with that, guys, we're gonna go ahead and end up the episode. Uh, if you guys liked it, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon Duel coverage. That's Shepard Speed, signing out.